let's begin with the 20th century project of taking the mind apart. We divided the mind into several categories in the 20th century, into the conscious, the unconscious, the pre-conscious, the subconscious, the ego, the id, and the superego. And I want to suggest that we've been looking through the wrong end of the telescope. I contend that it's possible to put the mind back together in which we honor not just its parts, but we honor also its collective aspects. I think that there is an emerging science that leads to a view that consciousness is non-local. And when we use that word non-local, if you just want to ignore the word non-local and insert the word infinite, then you will catch the meaning of the word non-local. And so when we use the term non-local mind, we're talking about mind that is infinite. We're talking about consciousness being without any boundaries whatsoever in space and time. And so here's the territory of non-local or infinite mind. If something is infinite, it's had, it's had, it, it has no boundaries, right? Therefore, without boundaries, it comes together as a unity and as a oneness. If something is infinite at space, it's everywhere in space, meaning that it's omnipresent. If something is infinite in time, it's eternal and it's immortal.